Hello Salimic, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to clean fuel injectors on 2017 Toyota Camry without removing it. We're just gonna need this DIY adapter, which I will show you in a minute how to make it, plus a car cleaner can. To make the job easier, I'm gonna remove the filter box to get access to the fuel line. Disconnecting the airflow sensor harness and undo the 10mm clamp. After removing the throttle hose, I'm gonna put a glove on the throttle so I don't accidentally drop anything inside the throttle. Now for removing the fuel line, take the cover off, put a rag under the fuel line for absorbing dripping fuel. We need fuel line disconnector tool. You can find it on Amazon, but I designed and 3D printed my own. This is a 316 inch 8mm fuel line disconnector. This is how it's gonna work. Push the disconnector in and the fuel line comes right off. For making the fuel line adapter, just find a hose that fits your car's fuel rod and glue it to a carb cleaner can straw. If you are using a hose like this size, use a washer. It will hold the glue till it gets dry. I'm also gonna use a hose clamp since it will be under pressure. Next, I'm gonna put everything back and run the engine with a carb cleaner. This is the fuel line, we don't need it for now. I'm gonna tuck it back. After putting back everything on the engine, we're gonna disconnect the fuel pump because we don't need fuel for now. We will run the engine with a carb cleaner. Disconnecting the fuel pump is very easy. Just remove the harness and we are good to go. Now connecting the carb cleaner to the adapter we just made and start spraying to pressure the fuel rod. If you're wondering why I taped the car up cleaner, after removing my finger, the nozzle was popping out. The tape will hold the nozzle from popping out. Let's pressurize the system, so we turn on the engine. This is a continuous shot, some people don't believe it, let's go. Getting into the car, starting the engine, starting without any problem. Let me put it on a tripod and start pressurizing again. The engine will remain running as long as the can provides enough pressure. I did the same video on a different car and showed with proof that it's working, it's cleaning the fuel injector. As you can see, injector number 4 was clogged and it opened after few seconds. So it means it needs few seconds to clean the fuel injectors. But we did half can. The car cleaner gonna clean the fuel injectors. I'm gonna show you the fuel pump. It's disconnected. Here is the proof. The engine running without fuel pump. And let's see. We don't have any engine light. Let's start pressurizing again. Whenever you see the engine shaking, turn off the engine. Uh, the engine is shaking, let's turn off the engine. Now we need to remove the adapter and put the fuel line back. 
Be careful when you remove the carb cleaner because it still pressurizes it. Just don't point it to your face. Removing the filter box again to remove the adapter and then putting back the fuel line and we are almost done. Okay, everything back on and we're gonna start the engine. The reason the engine started a bit late because we removed the fuel line. You won't have that problem again. The engine running nice and smooth without any problems. It's always a good idea to check the fuel line after putting it back. And here is the easiest way for cleaning the fuel injector without removing anything. We just use a carb cleaner can and these tools. If you're wondering why I didn't only remove the fuel pump fuse instead of removing the seat and then the fuel pump harness. There's a fuse called EFI number 2. This fuse is responsible for injector system, not only the fuel pump. I did remove it, but the car won't start because there is no power on the fuel injectors. So that's it for this video. If the video was helpful, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.